Hi everyone, praise God. It's a Sunday. We share a word of God. And I want to thank God for this week. Uh, we are ending and the week we are going in. Without further ado, let us go into the word of God. And then we will end up with us prayer. I welcome the Holy Spirit to lead me, to guide me, so that I can give out the word as God wants me to share it with your people. So let us go into the book of Ephesians 6. Ephesians 6, 11, it says, Put on all the armor that God gives you so that you will be able to stand up against the devil's evil tricks. Then 12, it says, For we are not fighting against the human beings, but against the wicked spiritual forces in the heavenly world the rulers, authorities, and the cosmic powers of dark age. Then 13 it says, So put on God's armor now. Then when the evil days come, you will be able, will be able to resist the enemy's attacks. And after fighting to the end, you will still Hold your ground. You will still hold your ground. Then 16 it says, At all times carry faith as a shield, for with it you will be able to put out all the burning owls shot by the evil one. Then 18 it says, Do all this in prayer, asking for God's help, pray on every occasion as the spirit leads for this reason keep alert never give up pray always for all god's people praise god this verse for real at times we don't know that the enemy is all over in this planet earth but to fight against the enemy or to be courageous or to conquer the enemy, we got to be knowing where we got. We have to get the power where we can overcome the powers of the enemy. Difficulties come. So many things happen. We are not here like we are. We don't have to fight. The enemy is around us. That's why the Bible tells us. To put on the armor. To put on the armor. That's why the Bible tells us to put on the armor. The, all the armor that God gives you. But to put on the armor. To to be able to stand against the devil's evil tricks. We have to do that in a prayer. In a prayer. Because 18 it says. Do all this in a prayer, asking God for God's help. Pray on every occasion, everything that you see, everything, everything on this planet. I've always pray on every occasion. What are you doing? What are you going to do? Pray. And when we pray, we have to put in consideration faith. At all times, carry faith as a shield. Don't just pray, I've prayed. You have no faith. Have faith in God after prayer. Then Matthew 16, it says, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. What you prohibit on earth will be prohibited in heaven. And what you permit on earth will be permitted in heaven. But to do that, you have to do it in prayer. Praise God. Prayer and with faith. If you don't have faith and if you don't pray, don't expect much from God. Don't expect much from God. Let us pray so that we can put what we've read into practice. Lord, Father, we thank you for the word as we are going into the new week, Father. Help us, guide us. Help us, Father, to know that 
we are on this planet Earth. There is a lot that we have to fight, and with you, we can win it. With you, we can defeat the enemy. We know that wherever we are, the enemy is not happy. Call upon you, Lord, to come and guide us, to protect us. Help us to have faith in you. Help us so that we can pray. We welcome the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit to guide us in everything that we do so that we can know that we have a mighty God. That even though the devil tries to fight against us, we will still stand, hold on the ground. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and we know that we are stronger than before. And we are going to put this into practice. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Keep on watching. We will be sharing more. And subscribe to this channel. May God bless you. Bye for now.